Hey guys, do you want to see a kung fu cult film with children in danger? If you do, then Braddock, Missing in Action 3, is for you. It's not a kung fu movie. I think that's just their general term for like martial arts. <laughs> Punching and kicking. So, twirly and <laughs> twirling and <laughs> diving. Uh, Braddock, Missing in Action 3 is the movie that we watch for this episode of Loose Cannon. My name is Brian Lee. To my left, Brian Brown. To my right. Is the release. Is this from 87, 88? 88, I believe. Uh, Brian Brown. Yeah. Do you recommend uh, Braddock, the scene action three. Uh, I'm really on the fence with this one. My hands are cold. I'm really on the like. I want to, but it just was tough. It was, some of it was yeah. kind of tough, but I, I want to. So maybe during we talk about it, maybe mm -hmm. it'll flip me. So Christopher, sorry, was that a yes or a no? It's a, I'm a, it's a uh, no. I'm not fence? sure. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, I do not recommend this. Unfortunately, yeah, it's weird. Chuck Norris seems to have this thing to where. It doesn't get really good until like the last 30 minutes. Yeah. Yes. And yeah. the beginning and ending song uh, for this movie are fantastic. <laughs> yeah. so. um, did you say the synopsis? I did not. Uh, Braddock mounts a one man assault to free his wife and son who are still being held in a Vietnam prison camp. Mm, one part doesn't go all right. <laughs> yeah, well, what are you going to do? <laughs> Plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> Is that an Asian joke? It's fine. It can be if they want it to be. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, I never know. Uh, I, I went into this with high hopes, which was probably, uh, yeah. was definitely my mistake. Yeah. Because I know, like, we're, so when we covered the original Missing in Action, yeah. we talked about how it was basically Canon's Rambo. like attempt at, like, yeah. a low rent, yeah. low budget Rambo. Yeah. So I was hoping they kept going, so Missing in Action 3 was going to be, like, a low budget Rambo 3. Right. And obviously Rambo 3 is like where it goes the most off the rip. Well, not counting the new ones. Yeah, <laughs> right. But yeah, you know, Rambo 3 is like where it goes like super crazy. So I was kind of hoping like this was going to be like super crazy. Parts of it are, but overall it's... Yeah. It falls flat too many times. If that make, yeah. you, know, you know? Right. And it's just like, the, I don't know, it's just like the action just isn't pow! You yeah. know, it's just like, I don't know, it just feels very... Well, Subdued. No, I've something. seen this before, kind of like that. And now that we're talking about it, I like. I didn't care about any of the characters. No, no, like, I really did. His didn't Australian <laughs> question mark <laughs> yeah. sidekick, right? Oh, like yeah. Did not care about him. Did not care about his wife or son. Like, no, no. I was like, like when like things were going down, like when the wife got it, and, like it's all happening. I'm just like, this is this is great. What's gonna happen? Like that it, got me. I, I was thought like, that was a nice twist. Yeah, but but then. The, it kind of just was met after that. It right. wasn't anything, I don't know. And this was another Aaron Norris. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like another one. Yeah. So the beginning, the beginning has a song by Ron Bloom. Oh, I looked him up. On the streets of the city, chaos is king. The beginning of the movie opens like with the fall of Saigon, right. which is like this crazy, like huge historical moment. But yeah, the soundtrack to it is this like butt rock, like right. super lousy. Yeah. yeah super, <laughs> dude, at the beginning, okay, so I felt super bad for his wife just because she's like, oh right. yeah, I've got, I'm fine. And right. then she trips and someone steals a purse and then that's right. it. Right. It's yeah. like, <laughs> okay, so I felt that, I felt, and I felt bad for her until really kind of right when she's at the cage. I'm just like, okay, lady, maybe you shouldn't have like ran and like, Trip, like, you have you well, no, you think like you have important documents, right. like, take care of your stuff. Like, there's people that don't have what you have that can't get on there, so right. maybe you should have taken care of your stuff. Well, yeah, why lady. did she wait so long? Exactly, because it, it was like right, it was because really it was maybe a minute before she, she got there that everyone took off and that was it, right? Yeah, that yeah, was very, it was stupid. Was the wife overdubbed in the beginning? Is your man really take you to America? Yes, of course. Uh, that doesn't fit. Yeah. And I love how, how uh, Chuck Norris, he's like, oh, that's a dead woman. I guess it's my wife. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like, which I know she the, had the bracelet. Same bracelet. She did have the wristlet. Yeah. But uh, it's like anyone can wear that. Yeah. You know? So, yeah, it's, it, there's the whole, you know, scene of like, you know, the fall. It's like, oh, like you're saying. Mm -hmm. And it goes back into that song again. I'm yeah. Like, All right, this is a little bit redundant. It's a lonely road home and a heavy price to And then it goes to present day. Yes. And he's at, is that when he's at the bar? And then the, the priest, the priest, that he's, he's like, he's like uh, the, 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 oh, Chuck oh, Norris. Yeah, yeah. That's what he's <laughs> he calls him Chuck Pretty Norris. Much, right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, 
He's like, he's like, oh, your wife, she's alive. Yeah. He's like, nope. <laughs> he's like, no, huh? she is, she's alive. <laughs> nope, you're wrong. I'm like, okay. Like, Get out of here, Mario. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, and, and that part was crazy because, yeah, the priest is like, oh, are you Chuck Norris or whatever his name is, Braddock? Yeah. So you're like, yeah, they sit down, they have a talk. Yeah. But like the priest is like, oh, yeah, there was a, you know, Vietnamese lady. Yeah. And Chuck Norris is just like sitting there and he's like, had a half Asian, half American <laughs> yeah, son. Right. And like Chuck Norris still not getting it. She worked, she worked at the embassy. Yeah. He's like, come on. And then finally he's like, it's your wife. <laughs> <laughs> and even then he's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a chalkboard. Um, yeah. <laughs> the diagram. <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's funny because if the CIA wouldn't have like done a thing. <laughs> that whole scene. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Yes. So like he goes barging into the CIA's right, yeah, office. Yeah. And he's like, all right. And like the. No, didn't, oh, so, no, they bring him. They yeah, bring, they him, bring right. him to the CIA. Yeah. Right. They, they find him and he goes there and then he's like. Did they please talk to you about your wife? And he's yeah. like, yes. Is it true? No. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> yeah. how it was. <laughs> like the worst poker face yes. ever. And then, and then that's the thing. And then like Chuck Norris leaves. Yeah. So why did they bring him there? <laughs> Well, because exactly. It's like if they and wouldn't have said a word, he wouldn't have believed the guy. His wife would have been killed. It's, it's so it, nothing would have happened. Yeah. So, well, and that's like, and again, I thought there was going to be like a Rambo thing where like, you know, they basically wanted to trick Chuck Norris into going there and like really they're going to have him like, you know, they had like right. have alternative yeah. or uh alternative motive. Thing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So I thought there was going to be some like twist in the middle. Like, ah, the CIA really wanted him to go because of this. Uh, right. Yeah. But no. Oh, oh, the line at the end of that was like, I don't step on toes. I step on necks. Right. Yes. I'm like, yeah. okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that a seat. It's fine. Uh, like around 23 <laughs> minutes, you know, Chuck, Chuck goes to that bar. <laughs> um, doesn't matter what movie it is, you know, it could be a Vin Diesel movie, you know, it could be, you know, whatever movie. I enjoy a nice kick to the dick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Not myself, yeah, but I like yeah. watching other people. I just love it when my dick is smashed. <laughs> Was that a bar or a strip club? I thought it was like a go-go bar. So yeah, like they're like yeah. dressed very scantily. Yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, I can see that. I just wasn't sure if that was like a strip club, but they're trying to maintain a certain like rating, <laughs> right? Like movie yeah. ratings. Um, yeah, I don't know. Yeah, but uh, you know, some stuff happens, and Chuck Norris is trying to run away, so he runs to the second floor where there's like monks praying. Yeah. So you're telling me there's a bar on the first floor, yeah. monks praying on the second <laughs> yeah. floor. Yeah. It, was, it was Chuck Norris is very quick, you know, when he's fighting and stuff. But like, you know, I didn't really realize how fast his hands move until I saw the guy that had, was pointing the gun at him and Chuck like disarmed him and kicked oh, him in right. the balls. Like he was so fast. He was quick. Like you couldn't even really see his hand, like grab the gun and like push. Right. It was like, I'm like, oh my God. And he was getting that old at the time, but it wasn't like he was in no. his twenties, you know? I mean, not in his twenties, but he also wasn't old either. I mean, this is still pre Walker. I'm no, I, I just, I'm uh, 38. Texas Ranger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, cause I'm just like, I'm not old either, but I'm, I'm not, I guess he has been practicing his entire life. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. He has I am just dedicated a, uh, his whole entire life. Yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> I forgot that part. Um, I'm good at sitting. His, <laughs> you are, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, his buddy, like when they were like trying to like outrun the CIA or whatever, mm-hmm. his buddy keeps laughing. <laughs> But then yeah. he has that jet-powered speedboat. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Which takes, like, I don't know, just like, it, all it, this planning and it, it doesn't was, fucking start yeah. right away. It was so, oh, the arsenal he has in that boat. when he Because I thought those were like torpedo tubes. Yeah. That's what I and thought I was like, too. oh, okay, like this is weird. Yeah. And then he opens it up and it's just fit like grenades and just yeah, all these like, like guns basically. and stuff. Yeah. I was like, oh, man. Yeah, because then Chuck Norris shows up. Or, Brother. What? So, we called him brother. Hey, get out of here, brother. A brother? How does he say it? Does he say that? I he don't calls him brother that. like all the time. When he's, he's like, no, he's no, like, oh, no, this no, is, no. This is your son. He says Braddock. Oh, I thought he said he was saying brother. No, he's saying Braddock. Oh. He's like, if you say so, Braddock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> I'm sticking with brother. But. Yeah, because uh, yeah, that's, yeah, 42, like 42 minutes. So he's like, it might be a tight squeeze, but I think you're going to enjoy the ride, Dan. If you say so, Braddock. <laughs> also, uh, amongst kicks in the dick, I love a good, good cold cock. 
uh, in yeah. the face. Uh, yeah. 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 With a hand. Uh, <laughs> I just like cold cocks. <laughs> you know, the, the kid and the mom are escaping, but then the kid gets distracted by some other kids. Yeah. And then that band shows up. Yeah. It was and just... they're like, ah, we got you, uh, yeah. band, band or something yeah, like yeah. that. And like, say like cold cock. I mean, he's like, yeah. Ow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh. Well, really, if, like it was the kid's fault. All Fuck that yeah. happened. Oh, like, yeah. If Fuck a kid, kid. would have like listened, they would have made it on the boat and would have been fine. Yep. But man, that mom got it. Like, dude, I was not expecting that. Me, I, but I was like, I was yeah, like, that was all, like that was awesome. Yeah. Which talking like they weren't part of this. Just leave them alone. And the guy's like, you're right, they weren't. Boom, yeah. and you see it like it hit right in the forehead, and she is gone. Yeah, was, that was oh. brutal. And I yeah. like, and then he points at the kid, and right. I was like, yeah, come on, <laughs> do it. And it didn't happen. The shotgun chair oh, sequence. Yeah. Yes. It was suspenseful. Yes. Yes. But like, that was like, I've never seen that in a movie. Like, no. I don't know. It was like, you know, like the original Saw movie. It's like, wow. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's pretty yeah. creative. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's just like right on. Yeah. Like that whole scene. I'm like, wow, that's, that's fucking brutal. Yeah. That, that yeah. was pretty cool. I like it. had to lower the shotgun. Yeah. Right. The kid on like the squeakiest stand. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like, let me lower it. It's like, ooh. Have your D40, please. Forever. <laughs> Norris. Mm -hmm. He lasted forever being hung on there and got electrocuted yep. and all that. And he but was then it turned out he didn't even need to do that the no, whole time. No. Nah. Which that's pretty that's pretty rough. That was pretty rough. Yeah, yeah. But and then of course, after being electrocuted and hung there and for over an hour, guards take him away. He escapes. It just yeah. like oh, didn't that didn't matter. I'm gonna right. share everybody now. Yeah. My like, muscles aren't exhausted. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, and he gets out because one of the windows in the jail has the lock on the inside. Yeah. It's like, I don't think that's how jails work, but okay. And like the first door he went through, he had like a little, like, like a uh, high school padlock on it. He's like, glad he's like, oh, I got him. And he's like, and then, and then what, all the guards run up to it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, ah, oh, he locked our own gate. Damn it. How are we going to get in? You no, know, no key. Okay. Nobody has a key. Yeah. I was like, okay, that's great. Yes. His gadget gun is fantastic. Yes. Uh, so that's probably, Probably my favorite scene in the movie because I think it might be the most ridiculous kill yes. in a movie. Uh, it's pretty fucking ridiculous. Yeah, because Chuck Norris has a assault rifle with a grenade attachment, which uh, we've seen. Right. Yeah. But then, yeah, in that scene, it also has a retractable bayonet. Yes. <laughs> which is like, <laughs> yeah, because like he bayonets the guy. Shoots like a grenade launcher or something. The guy goes flying, and then he explodes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, was, that wasn't the part when that guy was like uh, trying to rape the little girl, right? Yes. Yeah. That, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. When that happened, and she's just going no, no, like saying no over and over again. Yeah. I was like, oh, this isn't very comfortable. Like, <laughs> like this at all. <laughs> well, because like probably should have brought this to Thanksgiving. Well, she's up. Yeah, she's on that that floor with the guy, and then underneath is like all, all the, the children. Kids, yeah. Oh, they're oh, like, my God, those kids fucking whine. I mean, they could have been getting raped. Yeah. Well, because they're all like looking, all right. like listening yeah. to this girl. Like, yeah. ugh, that was that was rough. Like, I I'm not a big fan of rape scenes in movies. I don't know. People might enjoy them. I don't. I don't know. Right. Like, I don't I don't know. Yeah. I don't, whatever. There um, were bad people, Brad Brad. That one guy, uh, the bad guy, the main bad guy, he yells Braddock. And the first thing that popped in my head was Superintendent Chalmers yelling Skinner. <laughs> Skinner! Uh, Superintendent Chalmers. <laughs> and so like, that's all I thought of now from that. I was like, oh, this is, oh, I love this. Speaking of things where it makes you think of other things. Yeah. So it's it's like an hour and 12. So like, you know, like Braddock fucks up everything. And then like, you know, like the evil general guy like pulls up and yeah. he like sees like his shit all fucked up. And then oh, yeah. it shows... That one like tower just like yeah. all over. Yes. All I could think of was Jesse Ventura. NIST report said it fell at free fall. So then you well, make that, the wait a minute. To... That means you gotta defy the laws of physics. That means everything was removed. <laughs> <laughs> that's where my brain goes. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Who yeah. made the movie better? <laughs> <laughs> it's a conspiracy. God. Uh helicopter can Oh, dude. Shortly after that, yeah. when the helicopter is chasing uh, the jeep oh, full of children. God. Or whatever. Yeah, the that, helicopter can't hit. No, and it went on for like forty-five so minutes. Fucking time. Yeah, it and was the truck is traveling on a, a road, like right. the only road in the jungle. So the helicopter is no knows where it's gonna go. It right. still misses. Yeah, mm -hmm. and the explosions. It just seemed to take forever. They finally get on that plane, you know, with all the, the kids and stuff. Right. They, how many people were shooting at that plane? 
and no one got hit. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? It's well, not they well, hit the their gas fuel. tank got hit. The, yeah. ga- oh, the gas the tank. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> yeah, that's funny. the plane was huge, and I'm sure that the metal wasn't very thick during the in the body of the plane. Yeah. It could have shot the whole bottom right. up it, but none of the kids got they it. They probably didn't want to kill any kids. <sighs> well, that was their fault. Though. <laughs> I did like that whole bridge standoff scene. What part? Um, <laughs> I mean, the shitty part. Or the shittier part. <laughs> it was suspenseful. One of the one of the main reasons why I don't like this movie is the ending, and it's because yeah, there's basically like all the American forces are right. on the Thailand side, Thailand yeah. side, and where's North Vietnam? I think so. So yeah, all the like all the American forces are literally just like in Thailand, just staring at Chuck Norris. Like single handedly trying to defeat this whole army. And yeah. of course, like Chuck Norris is getting like fucked up and stuff. And then once Chuck Norris defeats everyone, they just like cross the border. Like they cross <laughs> right. the bridge. Like, oh, we, yeah. now we can help. Yeah, exactly. It's like, <laughs> yeah. And I think what really ruined it was when Chuck is like out there and he's, like, he's really struggling to get his gun up and his kid runs out there and helps yeah. him aim at the helicopter. I was like, oh, okay, done. Fine, guys. It wasn't a good scene. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, a little bit before, like when he first gets there, and like he like goes into that, that one tower, and he does the most le- like the least graceful jump through the window. Yes. He's yeah. Like, <laughs> he jumps through the window and is just aiming willy nilly <laughs> while jumping, <laughs> and then doesn't he immediately jump through another yes, window? Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Okay. It wasn't a bad scene. Like it, it was suspenseful, mm-hmm. but it. <sighs> It just seemed like it was again seeing the whole others like people not do anything and yeah yeah because the whole tri- thing was like oh well we can't interfere because it's across the border we yeah, can't cross so the border was, and then like literally like five minutes later the, the entire army crosses, crosses the bridge the board, yeah so yeah. it's like <laughs> it was cool to see that the 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 head bad guy the head general whatever like he died in the plane that was kind of yeah, cool yeah. or the helicopter that was cool to see yeah you know was he the same guy um from the other ones from the first one no. I don't know. And then, of course, he plays another fucking, yeah, like Super yeah. Americas. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I can see the love of freedom shining in your eyes. So in the first one, it's like this like low grade, like, you know, Bruce Springsteen. But then all of a sudden, it sounds like Bob Seger, like singing a song for Chevy. Yeah. It's just like, I want to hear that song. It's like, I can see the you looking for the right truck with the right horsepower? <laughs> well, here it is. And then, yeah. And then like random saxophone starts playing. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. And then they had like the, you got the stats. Being like, oh, there's still like, oh yeah, thousands oh, of kids. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's like fifty. 15- I checked out pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. It was like there's still fifteen thousand children in Vietnam or something like yeah, that. Yeah, well, like the half Vietnamese, half American yeah. that are like still over there. Mm. And I was like, oh okay, but it was just that one fact though. So it seems yeah, super that was random. It. I thought it's it'd like, be like multiple. Like, yeah. Oh, just so you know, there's still some kids yeah. over there, but whatever. <laughs> Brandman, do you still not recommend? Yeah, I'm not. I don't recommend this, Christopher. Yeah, I don't recommend. Yeah, it. I don't either. I guess. No. I guess the songs couldn't save it. Yeah, yeah, it's too bad. I just listen. Uh, do you know if the song is on Spotify? Uh, no, I love oh, okay. it. It's on YouTube. Oh, there you go. Oh, that's listen fine. to the song with like a cover of the VHS. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that's that's all you need from this movie. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it for yeah. this episode. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, until next time. Good journey. Good journey. I can see the love of freedom shining in 